I was looking forward to Super Monsters Save Christmas because I'd never seen a Super Monsters cartoon before and I was always drawn to that. I think the style of animation is really engaging and really fascinating. And I love Christmas animations, so I figured this is a pretty good place to start. And I have to say, I rather liked it. It only has 4.8 out of 10 on IMDb, but I'm going to assume that most of those 68 reviews and ratings come from people who have expectations of what to expect from Super Monsters. For me, I had no expectations. I didn't, you know, I, I can't compare it to any other episodes. So just on its own, I actually quite liked it. It was released in 2019, directed by Steve Ball, written by Karen Lee Brown and MJ Offen. And the little monsters, um, the super monsters, uh, this is based on my one episode interpretation, are, they appear to be children, but at night they can magically transform into these different creatures. And we have um, a kind of uh, Day of the Dead character, um, Frankenstein's creature, a werewolf. They all look fabulous and they all look very individual. And I really enjoyed that aspect of it. And I think that's the bit I loved most is the animation quality, bright colours, fabulous designs. Really had a lot of fun with the actual animation. And the narrative here is taking place on Christmas Eve in a place called Pitchfork Pines, which I love. Um, they start to put up decorations and they put up a Christmas tree. I was surprised. I don't know if I was pleasantly surprised or indifferently surprised. I don't know if you can be indifferently surprised, but I, I, it was unexpected to see kind of more traditional Christmas decorations. I'd expected them to have a more ghoulish twist, which wasn't the case. That wasn't a bad thing. I just hadn't expected it. But they're putting up the decorations, getting excited for Christmas. But then something has happened with Santa's reindeer. It looks like there is a big threat to the holiday. And if they don't resolve the problem, Santa may not be able to deliver the presents and Christmas may be ruined. And the super monsters have to team up to try and help this. And I, I rather enjoyed it a lot. I thought the narrative was good fun. It was quite unpredictable, but not completely unpredictable. I was curious enough to see how this um, narrative would resolve itself. But for me, definitely the main fascination is with the quality of the animation. I absolutely love the style of it. I really enjoyed the characters. Maybe after a couple of episodes and I got used to these different monsters, it would lose its appeal. But as a one-off, I had a lot of fun seeing the style of these different monsters and getting to know their personalities. For a fan of you know horror, that's something that I really enjoyed. So if you, like me, have been drawn to super monsters but you've never watched anything and you like christmas films i'm happy to say that for me super monsters save christmas was very enjoyable and one that i definitely recommend